Today we're going to go over changing a colored image to black and white and then doing a little tint and adding some color to those tints. So first what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the black and white arrow, or the black and white circle, sorry, it's down over here. And we're going to go up to black and white. Now the other way to get that is a long way and you go up to layer, new adjustment layer in black and white, so we're just going to go into this way. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually adjust these sliders. Okay, you're going to adjust these sliders any which way you want and you're going to change it so that we can see a little bit better quality in our darks and our lights and our highlights. So I'm going to change the red, the yellows, the cyans, the blues and all of these. And I'm just going to adjust them so we can get it a little bit better. And you guys can adjust them to wherever you want or where you feel that black and white looks the best. Okay, that's your judgment. I'm not going to tell you guys how to change that, but what we don't want is we don't want it really grainy like up in here and down in here. That's the one thing we don't want. We want it nice and clear. Once you get to where you want it at, you can tell it okay. And as you can see, it's got a layer palette down here. Now, instead of just being black and white, I'm going to go back into my layer thing. Here's my layer palette. Instead of just making it black and white, I'm going to add a tint to it, or a hue. And so I'm going to click on the tint, and I'm going to change my hue, or my color, to a different color. So right now I'm going to go with a nice bright blue. And I'm going to change, and as you can see, my blacks and my whites turned blue. And so I can also change the saturation, the lightness, and the darkness of it. See, it tells us where and how thick I want those colors to be. And I can change the percentage of where I want it at. I'm going to change it to right here. And that's how we change our image to black and white and then add a tint to it. Make sure you save it to your iDrive and save it as a PNG or a ping.